All right, we are excited for this one today. Hello everybody, this is Tekka. In this video, what I am gonna be doing is a product highlight. What this is, is the ClickBot. This is a modular robot that is programmable. You can use all kinds of different community configurations to make a whole bunch of different robots that can do all sorts of different things. And speaking of those configurations, this is one of them right here. This is the trike. This is really cool. It has a couple different modes. You can remote control it from your phone. Overall, it's super cool. I'm going to be talking about that more in just a little bit. Now, full disclosure from the start, the company that makes the ClickBot sent over the product and they're sponsoring this video. But if it was a crappy product, I wouldn't actually be doing this video here. Now what they sent over is the standard kit. They do have a bunch of different kits that you can select that come with all kinds of different parts. In this kit, you're gonna get a couple different things. One, you get some stickers, so that's super cool. You'll have a little sheet that will go over some of the instructions to go ahead and get started. And then you're going to have two boxes. In the first box on top, you're going to have all the modular pieces you're going to need to make the two standard robots, Bic and Back. Now this right here is not one of the standard robots. What I'm going to do is actually disassemble this and make Back, which is the robot that has a center stand, stands up, it could dance, it could, you could play games with it. It's actually touch interactive, so it will react to your movements, it can react to your face expressions because there's various sensors and cameras here on the front. For you uh, privacy conscious folks, you could actually disable the camera through the system settings if that's something you would like to do. And then in that second box, we're gonna have some additional components so we can make a lot more things, including some of these little finger grips here that are little feet. We have some modular suction cups here that you're gonna be able to use and the, this thing can actually climb up windows and stuff if you use the proper configurations and you program it correctly. You'll get some of these legs. Sorry for the lighting change, I want you all to be able to see this. In that second box, you're actually going to have two wheels and the uh, ClickBot company was nice enough to send over an extra set of wheels so I could do things like the trike configuration. We have a little base here and that's actually required for back. And then of course, if I actually take apart and I can show you how easy it is to disassemble this, all we need to do is pull it apart, and that's how modular it is. So then I could take this off the wheel, just like that, and you could see the connection joints here. For the connection, you have big and small, and to connect it, you just line it up properly. Like this, we're gonna do big to small, big to small, put that together, push it, and it's as easy as that. It's actually pretty strong. It does require a little bit of force to pop it apart, which is really good, especially if your robot's driving around in it runs into something it's not actually just going to fall apart on you. Now the most important component of this thing is right here. This is the brain. This right here is where the computer components are. This is what's actually going to control your device. This is what you're going to need to charge to actually use the device. No matter what you build with this thing it is going to need a brain. So with all that what I'm actually going to do real quick is go ahead and swipe up on this brain and then you see a little picture that says back and this is what we're going to go ahead and build so I'm just going to give that a quick tap and you can see it's actually giving me instructions on the pieces that I'm gonna be needing to build this. And you can see that it has a horizontal line, so that's gonna be the configuration I need to use. So actually listening to the instructions right on the device here, I'm gonna go ahead and pop this on with a horizontal line, and then it will go ahead and give me that next step. So what I'm gonna do real quick is follow the steps to actually build this main configuration here. And you can see the lines on there kind of indicate the orientation in which you're going to need to do this. And it's cool because the lights here will actually flash to tell you where to put it. So I'll just pop that on and then it's going to give me that positive feedback. And if you do something wrong, which I'm going to pur purposefully do real quick, this is not what it's asking for. But I'm going to go ahead and pop this on. You can see right there I put on the wrong thing, so it just told me this is the wrong module. Now for this configuration, we're going to need to use the base. Now I already took it off once, but luckily the kit came with some extra sticky pads that you can use to actually mount this to a flat surface. So in this little accessory box, we have both the sticky pads as well as some locking mechanisms. So I'm just going to put this on the base here real quick. And to actually make this, you're just gonna take the base apart and then you'll have these two separate pieces. We're gonna get one of these modules, which is the main joint of the whole entire thing. And honestly, I've been using this for a couple of days and I'm probably gonna order more pieces for this so I can actually build more configurations. And I need a lot more of these. So you just pop it together like that. We put the top over it 
and then we screw on the bottom. Now what I'm going to do is peel this off real quick and we are going to stick it just right so you guys can see it real good here. And now we can go ahead and clip this on. It's asking us if it is mounted and sturdy. I'm going to say yes and here we are. Now, like I said, it does kind of recognize you and where you are. So if I kind of tell it, hey, I'm over here, it has motion sensors and all that kinds of stuff. And see, it recognized me, so it's looking over at me. It's pretty cool. And, if, and it will respond to feedback and touches and like that because there are motion sensors. See? But on this thing, if I go ahead and swipe up here, this is going to go ahead and kind of stop him from doing his own thing and give us some options. And here we have Back's Play Box. If I go ahead and tap on that, we have a quiz game. We have Dance, so there's only one song on it and it will dance to it. And then we have Red Light, Green Light, so you could actually play Squid Game with it, kinda. I'm gonna change the music for copyright reasons, but this is it dancing. Overall, it's really cool. And then if you go over from the play box, we have just the brain, and then we have BIC, and then we have our system settings here. So for example, if I tap BIC, it's gonna go through the process of setting that up. I'm not going to actually do that right now, but this is what it looks like. It's pretty cool. It balances on two wheels. It interacts with you. It will kind of follow you around a little bit. If you give it a little nudge, it will actually be able to keep itself balanced and uh, it's funny, if he runs into things, he kind of gets a little irritated. It's it's funny. And now what we're going to do is I'm going to show you the playground real quick. And this is really cool. This is where it's going to show you a whole bunch of different predefined layouts and robots and things that you could go ahead and build. Now, like you saw earlier, my personal favorite one is that trike layout. And the app is really cool because if you go in and hit play and actually build the thing, it's going to give you a 3D rendering of the actual build. You can use your fingers multi-touch to go ahead and move it around, zoom in, zoom out, so you can see specifically how to build it. And it's gonna tell you all the instructions, and if you put something on wrong, not only is it gonna tell you on the actual brain here, but it's also gonna tell you on the app by highlighting whatever part in red. So it's really intuitive when it comes to the actual building process. Now actually controlling it's really cool, especially this trike setup. You can see I have it here, and there are three different modes, so we can go into the more compact mode and it will automatically move and do everything it needs to do to get into that. You can hit a button and switch it into the kind of train style trike where it's a lot longer, and with this it will be able to go faster, at least from what I noticed, racing it around the house. And then lastly, we have this really interesting configuration of a perfect triangle of wheels. And this is definitely more difficult to control. On the actual controller, it's just a joystick. So you can kind of see here me slightly moving it forward, slightly moving it back. It's interesting to control. And this is really the only uh, kind of RC car style I have experience playing around with but it's definitely fun. And then once you get familiar with building and working on this thing, that's when you could start trying to make your own styles and program them. So using the app, you can go ahead and build your own configuration and actually program it by physically moving it step by step to go ahead and create loops and certain movements that you're able to repeat it. Overall, it's something that's super cool. Additionally, you can use code blocks if you want to get into more of the actual specific programming, you can use code blocks in this really nice GUI environment to actually program the thing. There are other modules that I don't have here that I really wish I did. One of them is a little grabber hand. If you actually go into that playground and you look around, you'll see like engineering robots of people driving them and picking up things with this little grabber. There's other things like a uh, distance sensor that you can go in and put on this thing. The possibilities with this are absolutely endless. I know me personally, I'm definitely going to be grabbing more modules, like I said, and uh, build this up. I'm really happy I have this. It's going to be a fun process to teach my children in a couple years how to actually uh, program and use it when they get a little bit older. On the box here, it says it is for 8 plus, so it is designed to be a learning and educational tool. With all that said, I would love to thank our YouTube members and Patreon supporters. We have Mitchell Valentino, Phil Mac, Kyle, and Timo Anthony. Thank you guys so much for supporting the channel. 
and thank you to all the other Techie and Techie Plus members. With all that said, I do hope you have a beautiful day, and goodbye.